Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Demonstration on Protein Data Bank. In early lectures, I discussed about various aspects of PDB that is Protein Data Bank and in this demonstration, we will mainly show about the information available in Protein Data Bank and the current statistics as well as the growth of PDB from it started in the National Medical Laboratory and specifically various aspects and applications of the protein data bank with a specific example say lysozyme with the PDB code of 2 LZM. The PDB or protein data bank is maintained by the research collaboratory for structural bioinformatics or RCSB. The structures are stored in terms of atom coordinates. Each structure is given a unique PDB ID consisting of a numeral and three alphanumeric characters such as 2 LZM or 1A4Y. PDB is freely accessible to the public. We will learn about the PDB and how to navigate the website in the following demo. First, go to this URL rcsp.org forward slash PDB. You can click on each menu item on the left side to learn about the resources available in PDB. In the deposit uh, menu item, Experimentalists can deposit their data, which is uh, biological structures elucidated by X-ray crystallography or NMR, etc. The search tab is for users to search for a given crystal structure. The so visualized tab gives software to view the 3D structures, sequence features or interactions with ligands. The analyze tab gives in-house sequence and structural al alignment tools links to the PDB statistics page as well as external tools. The download tab uh, allows users to have bulk or customized data downloads and API services. In the learn tab, users can access educational resources about PDB and molecular biology. In the header tab here, we can see the number of uh, data available in PDB the number of crystal structures which have been deposited. Now we will see the statistics of PDB database. These can be found here. The statistics are grouped under two sections, content distribution and content growth. This content distribution contains statistics on the data currently deposited in PDB. The summary table which is displayed here gives the number of structures under proteins, nucleic acids, protein nucleic acid complexes as well as other biological structures and also the breakdown by each experimental technique such as X-ray, NMR or electron microscopy and others. The totals are given here. In total, there are currently around 136,000 structures available in PDB. To explore further, you can see the uh, data by molecular weight, by residue count or by the resolution. All these data is available for exploration and further study. PDB also gives uh, statistics by content growth. This shows how the database has grown over time. Statistics have been kept every year since 1976. Let us see the statistics here. The records start from 1976. As you can see, the, the amount of data being deposited in PDB has grown over the years and is currently around here. Now let us, let us uh, go further with an example. Now we type 2LZM in the search bar and press enter. We 
when we type any PDB ID, the website gives a summary page view of the structure. So, we have a static view of the structure here, the title as well as basic information about the experimental technique as well as the uh, protein structure which is given here. For example, this structure is classified as a hydrolase. In this experimental method which was used to get this structure is X-ray diffraction and the resolution is 1.7 angstroms. PDB also provides a literature reference from which the structure was taken. Further, you can find the macromolecules in the structure. So, in this structure we have only one entity that is the T4 lysozyme. This is identified as chain A and it has 164 residues. You can also see the feature view here. In this page, you can also link to other databases such as PubMed and Uniprot and you can also view the Ramachandran plot here. We will move on to see the 3D structure. We can also have a 3D structure here or you can go and download the structure and view it in PyMol. So, in, uh, in the PDB website itself, you can see the structure in the NGL viewer. So, you can drag, rotate and see multiple views. We will move on to annotations. For this entry, we have annotations from scope, cat, PFAM as well as uh, gene uh, product annotations. So, scope and cat give uh, an idea about the protein class which 12ZM belongs to and PFAM as well. the sequence tab to, to know the, the structures or the sequences in that cluster. Structural similarity. So, here we can see uh, all the structurally similar uh, entities in PDB which match to LZM. Structure is done, you, uh, the structural similarity is done using the GFATCAT Bridget algorithm. You can also choose other algorithms here. Under the experiment tab, you can see more metadata about the experiment which was used to get the structure. Since this is an X-ray diffraction experiment, you will find crystal data, the space group, and as well as others, uh, other uh, RMS deviations and software. The literature tab lists the citations from PubMed uh, to the primary citation for this PDB ID. This graph gives the mentions of this PDB ID in PubMed Central. Now, how to view the PDB file? If you click here, this display file, you can see the PDB file. Here we have the header information. So, this gives the title, the date it was deposited and it also gives uh, the compound details. As we scroll down, we will see a lot of information. So, here we can see the atom coordinates, these are the, this is the most important part of the PDB file. These are the atom coordinates, these are the x, y and z coordinates. This is the occupancy and this is the B factor column. Here we can see the annotation for number of, the, this is the atom number, this is the atom name, this is the residue, the chain and this is the residue number. If you wish to download the PDB file, you can click here and download the file as a text or .gz file. 